All right, let's see if it's going over here. There it goes. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I've got 10 plus items to share with you that I picked up an estate sale that I'm going to be flipping on eBay and I wanted to share with you the things that I chose to pick up. They're all small items, things that are going to be easy for me to store, easy for me to ship, that are going to bring me a really good profit. So I thought I would come on and share those items with you today. This is the receipt for my estate sale that I went to and I spent $31.39. It says eight items, but it was like three costume jewelry items too, such and such, they just blotted them together. Anyway, and apologies, Um, I was supposed to go live at four, I had set this up at four, and I left the house and it took me longer to get home. So if you were waiting, thank you so much for being here and I'm glad that you could make it. Also, I am live, so the way I'm going to format this video is I'm going to share with you guys what I picked up. I'm going to share with you the, the research online to, to show you what I'm going to be selling these items for and how I'm going to turn that $31 into about $300, bucks, maybe more. And, uh, and then at the end, I will jump into the chat and we'll talk about any questions you might have or any comments about things because a lot of times I learn amazing things from you guys in the chat. So... Thanks for being here. All right, let me get my screen popped up because I want to make sure I go in the correct order. And of course, when I came back, <laughs> I had it all set up and then when I got home, my computer said, you need to restart. So, all right. And if you're new here, welcome. I, I forgot to say that because I do have a lot of new subscribers and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, if you're new and you haven't met me yet, my name is Margaret. I am a stay-at-home homeschool mom that flips on eBay to earn money to help support my family. All right, so let's dive in. The first item that I want to share with you guys that I picked up at this estate sale is this tiny little Bible. Now, Bibles are something that I have always liked picking up. Um, depending on the Bible, they can sell for a really good profit. And so this was something different I had not seen before. First of all, it's a little one. Second of all, it's a New Testament, and I'm sure I'm going to say this wrong, Douay version. And then it said Army Navy edition on the bottom. And I bought it for $1. The ink smeared a little bit there. Um, but the cool thing about this one is as well that on the inside it had the inscription as far as what regiment, what company, and all of that. So that gives me a whole nother um, selling point on this because say somebody's in this regiment now. Um, this is the 1918 version of this little New Testament. So the somebody that maybe was in this company regiment, maybe they collect things or, you know, you just never know. The more, the more ends you've got with the buyer, the better. So let's take a peek at what I saw on this one. And hello, everybody in the chat. I see that you're there. I'll come talk in a second. And thank you. I've got some of my friends who've got the wrenches in the chat. Debbie and Mary and Joni will be on you like white on rice <laughs> anyway okay and I've got my chat going over here too so all right so I looked up this Bible and a few of the different versions were up there um, a lot of them had that cross on the front mine didn't have that um, so I was looking for that also the the prices I saw on it were kind of up and down as well hang on I grabbed the wrong thing okay so let's start now if you've watched me for a while you know that I don't solely go off eBay sold and I know sometimes in my comments I get um, I get comments about like well you don't know that that's what it's gonna sell for there's not an eBay so the thing with me is let me get on my soapbox for a second um, to me eBay sold are just that's a tool I use to help me price my items that is not the be all end all of what I choose to list my item at because of a few different factors and um, one I sell on eBay and Etsy also your item there there's something called perceived value which I talk about a little bit where I mean I noticed it with my kids just the other day we were looking at inflatable rafts that they wanted these like anyway and so there were some on eBay that were $9.99 and there were some the same raft that was twelve fifteen dollars and my child was saying I think we should get the fifteen dollar one I think it's gonna be nicer and I explained it's the same raft why do you think the fifteen dollar one's gonna be nicer it's that perceived value that our brains just have I don't know okay 
off the soapbox. But I use eBay sold. I use Google shopping. I, cause it shows me all different things. And I look at Etsy as well. So when I, so if I look over here, if I just went off eBay sold and saw this was for us one sold for $1.99 on auction, I would be really downhearted about it. Uh, but if you scroll down, there's a few others that don't have the exact words matching, but are similar. So I'm seeing, you know, a few there. And then because also it's small, I don't mind letting it sit for a little while because it's not going to take up that much space, right? Okay, so here, let me make sure, I, this is the exact version I typed in, and these are the ones that I see up there right now. Um, one's up for 99, pardon me, uh, one's up for 125. Again, those have the little cross, one's up at 50. So kind of higher ranges on a few of them which is cool, um, and there, my pages are having to reload. There's one on Etsy at $75, and since I cross-post my items, I'm probably going to go in that price range. I'm probably going to go in the $50 to $75 price range on mine, um, not only because the ones that I see that are still up there are around that price that are like mine, but also because it has that extra um, company and regiment on the inside and somebody might be looking for uh, memorabilia from Matt or the, their collectors. Okay, so moving on, let's see what I have up next. Again, I'm trying to go in order, so. Okay, next up, I took a chance and I, it's good to challenge yourself, let me just put it that way. And I I don't know why I pick up, I, I pick up bell bookers and I'm never very good with them. So I liked this one, I mean, I think it was a dollar, so it was easy for me to take a chance on it. It was just a nice wooden belt buckle, and it it had the, this is the kind of wood, Goncalo Alves, um, and I looked that up, and that's the type of wood, and it does have a burn maker's mark on there, so I could do a little more digging, but as far as the plain, um, the plain wooden ones, let's see, I couldn't, and I know they must be up there, but when I was searching for it, I couldn't find, like, um, uh, search, that was the, the burn mark, that was that. Um, so as far as sold listings, none were matching exactly. And then when I was looking at wooden belt buckles, a lot of them were really embellished and looked really cool with inlays and stuff like that. So I had to dig a little deeper to try to find ones that were just plain. And so here's one that's signed like mine, plain, that's up for $30. Probably mine won't be put up for that much, I don't think. I might put mine up for, for $20 or so, um, just because, I don't know, that was just me searching like, what is that? That's the wood, that's the type of wood. So here I'm trying plain wood belt buckle, just to see, like, here's a plain belt buckle that's wooden, um, that's up, and it's not sold for $22.49, and yeah, that's me moving on. Okay, so I didn't want to spend too, too long. I didn't spend a long time researching that one. So I'll probably put it up for about $20, but still for a $1 item, it's not going to take very much space. It's going to be easy to ship. Okay, I took a chance on it, right? Okay, and I see questions in the chat, and I will come um, at the end. I'm going to go through the chat and, and answer questions. How many friends do we have watching? I did not take a piece so of that. So I didn't want to, of course, there we go. Um, go over there and hit that thumbs up, everybody. Okay, then where are we next? Next we are, okay, and um, I pick Rhonda, I can't, I don't know if you're there, but I can't remember your husband's name. But at this estate sale, I ran into Rhonda and her husband, um, and they were, he, he was telling me that this was a pretty old one, and this is a pocket knife, and I tend to pick up pocket knives because I have kids that are, it sounds weird, into knives, and you're scouting, scouting, survival step. But when I looked this one up, this is, am I holding that upside down? Is it upside down? I can't tell. There we go, like so. Um, so it's got the BSA, Boy Scouts of America, scout symbol, that fleur de lis, and it is a pretty old pocket knife. Now I want to show you one thing on it, if I can get it open. It needs a, it needs a cleaning. I'm not sure if I'm the girl to do that, so... Um, it's got this tool on it, which is what I think is making it, one, older and making it more valuable. It's got a leather punch. It's got this tool, which I'm still trying to figure out the name for. 
it's got a regular knife it's got the bottle opener with the screwdriver and there it's pretty messed up so I I could take it to get it cleaned up but it might cost more I'll have to find out but as you can see that's that's the laid there so let me flip over and I think she charged me a buck or two for the knife so I'm gonna close up this tool so I don't impale myself so what I was looking for was this the knife this exact um, inset, the circle one with the fleur-de-lis on it, and then one that has that tool, which I can't remember what it's called. Is it the can? It's not a can opener, is it? Because it's got that, like a can can, like a can of beans can, right? Not like a bottle can opener, not like a bottle opener. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, guys. Okay, so as you can see, some of the prices are kind of... Some are high, some are low, but as I started looking further for that specific tool, the ones that have that specific can opener on it um, tended to go for a little bit more. So that one didn't have it. This one had it. That was, and it's a vintage Ulster Dwight Divine one. So I did do that search as well. And here we go. So here's one that has that. And this one is up on... Anne's Teaks for $150. Now, I don't, okay, we're not signing up. We're just using you right now. All right, this one is up for $150. And it looks like it's in as, about as good a shape as mine is, but I don't think mine is going to go for that kind of price. And hers has a different insignia on it as well. Whether that um, matters or not, I don't know exactly. So I'm still digging a little bit. So this one didn't have the same insignia or anything but that's one that was up for $32.50 and I know I pulled one up that had mine that one sold for $40 I'm gonna go through I was searching a lot here as you can see and there we go um, that one sold for $26 I don't know I could use your advice do you think it's one of those things that like if you clean it does it devalue it there are certain things that I think when you clean it it loses value. Oh, my phone is going off. Of course, I'm going to turn that off. Um, so that's something I have to look into as well. I have to. This is something I don't sell a lot of. I pick. I usually pick them up and then just have them around the house, <laughs> which sounds weird. This one looks a lot like mine. Let me peek. I'm gonna peek on this one real fast because that one the coloring looks the same too. Okay, original listing. We're going over there. Okay, yeah, this one looks a lot like mine. Let's see if they pulled the knives out on this one. Is it? Is it? No, never mind. Okay, stick with your research, Margaret. All right, this one sold for 92 but that one's in really nice shape, as you can see, and it gives the years and all that. But this is the same style that I have. So my thoughts are, so here's one that's really similar to mine. My thoughts are, depending on what I find out about cleaning it, that I'll, I'll probably sell it could be anywhere from 40 to 70 dollars and I know that's a big price range in there but I've got to just um, do a little more research as far as making sure that the tools I've got the right names for them making sure that I see if that's um, you know age wise just all the little things and if it's something that might be 70 dollars then you know I can spend a little time doing some research on it. So, that's that. Okay. Then, a couple things that I didn't look up for this video because I've already, I already kind of did a video with them, but I got these at the same estate sale. I'll just show you real quick. I got some crusty hats. They're not all crusty though. One of them is especially crusty. I'll link the video for the hats at the end, but all the hats were a buck. I got this Texas Shrine Clown hat. I got it mostly because it had all these cool patches on it, Coors, Miller, Texarkana, um, and it's really disgusting. And in the video for the hats, I talked about I don't think I'm going to clean it, but I've changed my mind. Um, so, And if you're thinking that's a bad idea, then tell me that it's a bad idea. But I've been listening to some of you guys in the chat because I've never cleaned hats, and some of you have said you do it in the top rack of the dishwasher. So I thought it might be fun to see, like before and after, because honestly I bought it mostly for the little patches, because I thought somebody might like the little patches on it. So for a dollar, we'll see. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> I'll take a I'll take a vote. Okay, another one that I had in the other video was this Alaska. Sorry about that Texas hat. Um, vintage got the big patch on it. This vintage Austin City Limits hat. And I mentioned in the other video, I was trying to figure out how long Austin City Limits have been going on, and I thought it was older than 20, 2002 or something, but I couldn't find any information, I, or I didn't dig it deep enough, but somebody came along and told me, no, it's been around for a long time. And then the other hat that I got, again, I'll link the hat video, because I know I'm not sharing a whole lot, was this um, Shriner's Ben-Hur. And then, oh, who was it that was mentioned that the three stripes are, are uh, desirable too? So I'll do some more looking into that. Okay. So, next, now, again, I'll link that video at the end. At the end, when I'm done here, then I can do that. So you can look at those ones as well. Pardon me one second. Okay, here we go. So the next thing I got was kind of a throwback to when I first started selling on Etsy. I sold a lot of ephemera, which is like paper stuff that generally is used and thrown out. And I just, I liked this. <laughs> So I got it. Again, it's one of those things that maybe was not the best buy, but it's easy, small. I um, mean, it says save the olive, and it's like a little sailor. And I liked the colors, the pinks. You can't really see. It's got that avocado green. I don't know if it's showing up very well in the, in the, um, on the camera. So this one, it, it's probably going to do better on Etsy, honestly, because I looked at... Vintage Save the Olive Coasters, none were up there on eBay. I couldn't find these exact ones, which is good. Pardon me. Um, and, pardon me over here. So I was looking on cats. I don't want to touch my mouth because I've been touching those hats. Um, I was looking on Etsy, and I can't find these exact ones, but you can get an idea for vintage paper, like coasters and stuff. And some of them don't sell for that much, but um, if you get them for cheap enough, they're easy to get up there, easy to take pictures of. You know, here are these vintage ones that are up for $12. And I've sold, you know, vintage wrapping paper was one of my favorite things to sell. And uh, it's really super easy to list and ship and all of that stuff. So chances are likely I'll put this up for maybe 6 or $7. So not a ton, but I just got nostalgic when I saw them. I love the vintage stuff. Okay, then... Yeah, the vintage coasters are super cute. Okay, so the next thing I want to share with you guys is this hippo. And the reason I got him is, one, he's a wood carving, which I tend to do fair with. They sell fairly quickly. Um, wood carvings of animals because people have their favorite animals. And this was a really cute one. So he was $3. So let's take a look at what... I'm going to be selling this one for. I'm looking in the chat real fast. Some people say, you know, eBay allow, that they don't want filthy stuff. I think if it's vintage, though, it's a different story. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. That's a good, that's a good question. But, yeah. Okay. So, looking, again, this is how I start my search when I'm searching for um, how to price my item. I start with a, a Google search, and then it sorts, you know, there's this, the... The things on their shopping that it pulls and things on their images that it pulls just so I can get an idea of what's out there and what you know just at a quick glance what I can see then from there uh, I selected the the shopping tab up on Google just to see if I see the same hippo up because this time sometimes this can save a whole lot of energy searching and I see one that's kind of got the same kind of wood that's sitting though for $36. But if you look at some of these wooden hippos, they are they're going for a lot of money. I know these are not sold, but they're quite pricey. Okay, then I went on and I searched. This is on eBay, eBay sold. There are 20 solds on wooden hippos. So this one is sold for 25 bucks. This one must be pretty large. It sold for 70 But as you can see, you know, other than this guy, he's pretty rustic looking. Um, they're going for fair prices, I think, you know. I mean, mine is much nicer, I think, than that one. So I'll probably end up listing this hippo for in the 
$25 range. I think I searched on Etsy as well. Yeah. So on Etsy, as you can see, a lot of them are listed, you know, $20 and up on a lot of them. So, and since mine, I think is really cute and pretty well done. Um, so I'll probably list them around $25. And from a $3 profit, that's pretty good. All right. So next up, ah, okay. So the next thing I picked up was this Closin' A ornament. And it was either 50 cents or a dollar on that. So it's got this nice gold Closin' A with flowers and birds. And I just recently sold some Closin' A butterflies um, ornaments, and they did really well. So let's take a look at what I'm seeing over on all the places that I look. Uh, it's on. All right. So again, this is just a Google search. No, this is on eBay. Hang on. I take that back. Scroll up. So two sold listings on eBay so far, and that is, you know, with bird in the title as well. So some of them, if I took bird out, it might be a little bit different. So uh, $10 on that one. That's a different style of Closin' A. Um, but uh, this is a sold one that sold for $29. It came with the box and all of this. Um, but scrolling through, I'm looking for one that's more similar to mine. Um, here's one that sold for $25, best offer accepted. $12, 11 18 This one's kind of similar. But I saw... Let's see, I think I'm probably going to end up putting mine up for around $15 because I looked over on Etsy and as you can see there are some up here, like this one's up for $40, $24, um, I feel like I did some more searching. This is what I get for searching, not the day of because then I start forgetting. Um, so probably, I know I said $30, so maybe closer to the $20 mark. So I will probably put this up for maybe $22 and then put best offer on it. Cool. Okay. So the next thing that I picked up again, I got a little sneak peek there. Again, smalls. I got these little metal frogs and these are shelf sitters. So as you can see, they're like, so and you, you set them on the like bookshelf or whatever shelf and their little legs hang over. So they are, brass I believe but they're just coated and it was two dollars for the set of them let me try to hold them still I feel like I just had some cake so that's why I'm a little bit like Ooh. all right sugar lots of sugar all right so let's take a peek again why did I pick these up they are one they're frogs people really like frog stuff and they yeah metal figurines frogs shelf sitters they've got a lot going going for them. So here's my Google search for metal frog shelf sitters. And as you can see, um, look at this frog mermaid. No way. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. Um, these ones are similar-ish, but I think mine are cuter because it, I don't know, I don't like the brassy, super brassiness of those. I like this a little bit better. Okay. Um, yeah, totally. Sugar. I had too much sugar. All right, so here's one similar to what I've got, but this one, you know, that one is brass, um, with the brass color. And I don't know, I mean, I'm guessing I would list them together. But somebody wants $22 for this one, which why not, right? And then over here, I, th I know I saw it. Are these sold? Let me, no, these are not sold. Um, but these are some that are up on eBay. I probably had it right on it and I just scrolled away from it. Lots of cute ones. Uh huh, there. Um, so there are my two that are up for $37. So that might be right around the price range that I do. Maybe I do $38.99 or something like that. Oh, here's a sold. So this one, they actually sold for $37. So maybe I do put them up for $40 with the best offer on them. So there is that. Okay. And did I go further with this one or did I move on? Nope, I did not. Um, so yeah, probably go around 40 bucks on those and I bought them for $2 for the pair of them. Then, next thing I got was a watch and I'm still learning about watches and this one is not in amazing shape. The, the leather strap is broken on the top. 
but it's Simba. And the new Lion King movie just came out, so there's a little bit of more interest in, I don't know, Lion King's always kind of popular there. Uh, so I looked this watch up, and I did find it. Even though mine needs a battery and this leather piece is a mess, I paid a dollar for it, so it was not bad. So here, again, you got to take chances, and sometimes your chances win, and sometimes they don't win. Oh, Heather says she looked up the ornament on Worthport and similar sold for $24.99. Oh, thank you, thank you uh, for looking that up for me. Okay, uh, so I, like, here's this one that sold for $17.99. This, this watch might have been a dud pickup um, because, you know, it's torn up and it's kind of a mess. I need a new battery in it. So, I don't know. It may end up in a watch lot, honestly. If I got it all fixed up, and you can see some of the gold tone is rubbed off. This is a well-loved watch. Somebody really loved their Simba watch. So, uh, yeah. Eh, it's probably going to end up, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. But if I were to put it up, it'd probably only go up for 5 or $6. If I did nothing else to it, i just put it up like that. Probably 5 or $6. Maybe I try. Okay, then... Um, and hi in the chat, everybody. If you're just coming in, I'm going to jump into the chat uh, towards the end so that I'm, I stay focused because we all know I can get off track. All right. The next thing I picked up, again, it was something I was taking a chance on because I've never really sold these before, but it was a cool cowrie shell, and it was carved on the front to look like a hummingbird, and it is a nightlight, and it was a dollar. So, you can see the sticker on there. It's a dollar. Anyway, so, let's see. And again, this is another one that I was taking a chance on. This estate sale, let me just say, it was packed. And some of the people there were... <sighs> what's a nice word for it? <laughs> they were aggressive. Um, so, I felt like I was really having to... If I, I saw something, I needed to pick it up and hang on to it. Because it was... It was like that there, um, and I don't like that kind of pressure. Plus, I had three kids and my sister with me. So anyway, moving on. Um, but I mean, it's not terrible. I bought it for a dollar. These are the ones that I'm seeing that are up on the Google search. You know, right around ten bucks. So not amazing, but this one has a hummingbird on it. So that might change the game because you know bird people, and you know hummingbird people, and they love their birds slash hummingbirds. Pushy, that's a nice word. Okay, so here, cowrie, carved shell, nightlight. These are sold. And as you can see, there are some that sold for $15, which is great. Uh, so maybe I put mine up for around that price because there are, again, there are people that are hummingbird people. My sister's a hummingbird person. <laughs> She's got about a million feeders. Uh, and so I decided I would search for hummingbird, and there are none that I was finding on eBay, which is a perk for me because mine will be the only one. And then, did I, I, didn't, I know I saw one though. Okay, on Ruby Lane. There's one up on Ruby Lane. So when I put mine up on Etsy and eBay, it will be the only one that is there. And this one on Ruby Lane was sold. Okay, so <laughs> mine will be the only one. So I'll probably, you know what, since the other ones are up there at like 15, the solds, that I saw somewhere at $15, $16. You know, maybe I put mine up at $17.99 with the best offer and then just set it so that my best offer, you know, automatically declines anything lower than $14 or something like that. And then when I take the pictures, I'm gonna make sure that I take a picture of it plugged in with the light on, right? Okay, so that's a pretty good profit on that, I think. The next thing, okay, that was just me searching. Okay, again, the next thing I picked up was another animal. It's a carved sea turtle. And turtle people and tortoise people, I'm trying to get where you can really see it with the background, um, love their tortoise, tor tortoises and turtles. Um, I'm going to answer your question when I come to the chat for sure. I'll be there in a second. Now, cool thing about this is... I don't think it's wood. So when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, nice dark wood. It's really nice. Um, I paid $3 for it. And then when I got it home, I started looking at the bottom. I was like, ooh, 
I think this is a resin, but it's really nicely done. The details on this are really nice. Let's look at his head. Look at the details on his head. Look at him. I mean, the detailing is just really nice. So when you see, in just a second, when I show you the other one, you'll see what I mean, because some of the carved sea turtles that are up there and that have sold, I don't think look as nice as this. So I love that this is really detailed. Okay, you're asking really good questions in the chat and I will definitely be answering them. Okay, so a carved wood sea turtle, there are 377 up. I'd, I put wood just because I'll probably, when I list it, because I can't say it's made from wood because it's not, but I'll probably put, you know, wood grain or wood color so that, that when someone search for a wooden one, it'll still kind of show up. Dark wood color, something. All right, so as you can see, these these are not sold, but here are some of the ones that are up, you know, $20, $15, just kind of depending. And again, like, see this one that's up there for $29.50, uh, mine is like, I think has got way more cool details. So, did I, <laughs> my kids are texting me. Um, so these are on Etsy, and again, 25, 30 bucks in that range. I feel like I shouldn't research <laughs> the day before, because I'm like, what was I looking at on this page? So, hang on. I know I did more search with the resin. Okay, here's the resin ones. But mine is the solid resin color. So I'm thinking that the, look at some of these prices. Wow. Um, that is quite the price. I'm thinking that I'll probably put it up around that $30 price. Surprise, guess what's coming up? Um, because of what I see out there. Okay. So there's that. And then you saw what was coming next and so did I. Okay, let's talk glass. I have a love-hate relationship with glass. This is a smaller piece, um, came with a stand. Now here's the thing with this one, okay, it's paid $4 for this. With glassware, if you know this or not, now you're gonna know, that this design that, that it's on the bottom is like the maker's mark, okay? So if it's a known glass maker, it might have a brand, it might have a sticker. This one has a little, where is it? You kind of see it right, right there. There's like a little crest right there. I couldn't read it very well. Um, but this is a, a maker's type. Each glass maker has a different design on the bottom. Hang on one second. Let me, let me stop this. Um, shoot. Okay. I'll have to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hang on one second. Pardon me. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm live. Can I call you back in a second? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's take a peek at the glass maker. The only problem with this one is the maker that I researched that I that has the same mark on that bottom like so I can't find this shade of glass so it might be a knockoff which is okay I just can't list it for that so as you can see here this is a Libby American Brilliant glass cutters glass whatever it is cut glass um, so you can see there's that same pattern so I couldn't find this bowl I couldn't even find it as a clear bowl. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> if I can't, yeah, I was looking at the site about fakes and how to, to identify fakes, and I still was not, I mean, like, I couldn't figure out. I can't find a colored one that's from this glass company. If you know, let me know. Um, because my... When I started selling on eBay and Etsy, my grandmother had a lot of glass stuff like Cambridge glass and Fenton and things like that. So I really got to know some of those fairly well. And uh, this is not one of the ones that she had. So I never really got to dive deep into Libby glass. So um, I am still kind of on the fence about what to price that at. Here was like the closest I could find, but it was not quite right because I don't think, no. 
because mine has a little bit more of this like it looks like a Christmas tree kind of style right there. Um, but I think even if I don't know what it is, if I can't identify it um, exactly, I still think that I'd be able to price it. I'm going to skip that page. Um, I don't know, probably in the $40 range is what I'd put it at. I mean, these are similar-ish. But yeah, so uh, anyway, these are sold. So I'll probably put it up in that $40 range. It's got a cool stand. You know, it's pretty small. As far as glassware goes, it's really thick. You know, thick glass and cool stand that it goes in. So again, if you are better at that than I am, then please let me know. So again, about 40 bucks. And oh, I've got one more, two more things for you. Two things in a small box. So the first thing is the container. And it is a teeny tiny little white made in the USA. And it is Zunus adhesive plaster. So the little tin, Johnson & Johnson, this little tin, I feel like she just threw it in. I can't remember. Being, like it was one of those last minute kind of things, like it was sitting by the register and I was like, ooh, is somebody, yeah, they didn't end up getting it here. Okay. So um, there are some sold like mine for about $13. And so when I picked it up, I didn't really even look inside of it because I was like, I was just the tin. I wanted the tin, right? Um, so when I looked inside of it though, not to like at home, um, did I see some buttons? And at first, you know, there are buttons that are like, okay, whatever, they're buttons. These buttons are pretty cool. Let me get over where you can see big. These buttons are, you ready for it? There's three of them. They are cloisonne buttons. They're enamel cloisonne vintage buttons. So they're like, uh, like that style. I feel like my lighting is not great. I hope you can see it okay. And they've got like a little flower painted in the center. Look at that. And these are ones that I couldn't find the exact button for. But let me show you what I did find. Sorry, I'm sweating. My workroom is quite warm. All right. And then I'm going to jump into the chat after this. Okay, so this is on eBay. I haven't looked on Etsy just yet. Um, but look, for just like one half inch button on auction, five bucks. This one, 30, which is gorgeous. Uh, $14.99 for one button. Again, some of those are a little prettier than mine. However, I think mine's pretty cool. And I just have to decide now, do I part them out? or sell them one at a time. You know, again, some of these are a little bit prettier than mine, but I, I haven't seen exactly. And then the thing is like when I zoom in and take my pretty pictures like I like to do, it'll look like, wow, that one looks really nice. Hi, Pancake, you wanna say hi? Pancake's here. Okay, so chances are that I'll list them for maybe $10 each, um, but they were just in this little thing, so I paid basically nothing for them. Let me pop over here. Pancake wants to say hi, and then I'm going to put him down. Hi. Say hi, Pancake. This is Pancake. Hi, Pancake. He wants to get petted. But I'll have to pet him later. Furry. Okay. So um, that's how I'm going to make probably about 300 bucks off of that $31. Get here. Uh, let me jump into the chat and say hey and see what kind of questions we're looking at with everybody who's here and and if you're if you're like this, you're like okay I don't want to listen to this part and thanks for coming thanks for watching and stay tuned because I am in the link the hat video uh, leave me a comment let me know what you liked what you didn't like what's something cool you picked up just say hey introduce yourself if you're new and uh, I'm gonna jump in and say hey and talk to our chat for just a minute hang on now where am I here we go okay so hello everybody yes it's very hot uh, Debbie and Maripost, this is first time live. Yay. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Debbie Does Sales. Thanks for coming in. And Heather and Janice, thanks. For, oh, hey, from Katie. I'm going to be down in Houston next week. Okay. Yeah, it's super hot. Hey, Joni. Um, and Taryn, thanks for coming. And Veronica, hello from Canada. And Lydia, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm looking for questions. Okay. Veronica says, uh, I'll off topic. 
off subject question for you. Sorry, I gotta pull my leg up here real fast. Getting comfy. Do you use a moissanite tester? I do. I have a my Presidium gem tester. I don't have any moissanite. <laughs> I don't think I can sell it if I did. Um which is a really nice stone. Um, but I do. I have a, a gem tester and I have a couple videos showing me using it and calibrating it and all that kind of stuff um, to check my stones before when I list them. And it has come in really handy. So I will say that. And is it ironwood? I'm not sure what you mean, Debbie. I guess this is the, the fallback for looking at the chat at the end. <laughs> so, um, oh, you mean on the knife? I'm not sure. I'll have to, I have to do a little more digging on the knife. Then, Heather says she's done well with the vintage Scout stuff. Heather has said, beer can opener for the older Boy Scout. Oh, yeah. Way back when, right? Um, Veronica says, I would wash the hat. Hey, pancakes back. Um, she, I wash all the clothes I sell, Veronica says. Veronique, I think I'm saying your, your name wrong. And so I'll probably, I'm going to look up the, the dishwasher method. And maybe I'll do a video and show before and after on this hat. How about that? Um, and Mary's saying eBay wants all clothing washed first. I wonder if that, hey, no. Uh, if that counts on, he's wanting to bite me to get my attention. Get down, you. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. I'm looking through here. They're talking, to, um, friends are talking about the clothing rule on eBay needing to be, yeah. And I'm looking for questions. Do, do, do. Sorry. Uh, I, oh, Veronica is asking if it's worth selling on Ruby Lane. I know people who've done really well on Ruby Lane. I, I'm just not on Ruby Lane. It's there's only so many hours in the day. Like I've kind of I don't have, still have stuff on Poshmark anymore, and I kind of started trying Mercari, but I have my rhythm with eBay and Etsy, so. I just kind of stick with those two, and they seem to be the ones that do the best for me anyway. Poshmark, I think I made three or four sales in the whole time I was there, because I don't do the, I don't have the time to do the the social media sharing aspect of it. So, okay, and then, um, okay, asked, do you list the same thing both on Etsy and eBay at the same time? And I do, um, and I have my phone with me pretty much all the time. So when I get a sale on one, I just immediately go and take it down off the other. And I think only once or twice have I had it happen where something, the same item sold on both sites, and then I just take it down off of Etsy. I just contact the the um, customer that bought it on Etsy and just apologize and, and refund their money because they don't have the same rules as eBay as far as canceling sales and things like that. So it's a bummer, but that's what happens. That's just the truth. Um, but again, it's only happened in how many years? Five or six years, it's only happened maybe once or twice. Not even enough for me to remember that it was a deal. Um, and I don't know about that. Let's see. I'm talking. Ah, Stacy says, as a user of buttons, I would keep them together. So, yeah. Oh, 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 on the buckle, is it ironwood? But Debbie's asking. I sold a bird's eye maple buckle for good money recently. I don't know. I have to do some research on that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Because I think this is what the wood is supposed to be. This, uh, I can't even say it <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. So, I'm looking in the chat. Ah, uh, do I have any issues with international shipping? I don't. Um, so I've done international shipping from the beginning on Etsy, and some of my very earliest sales were to Australia, which was amazing. And then I used to do, I've gone back and forth with the global shipping, um, and I don't do it anymore, but I did for a while, and, and now I don't. But I get, I get a number of international sales on both sites. So I think one time I had an issue and it was like, I sold, I sold my old iPhone or something like that. And there were red flags. I was a new seller. I didn't know there were red flags, but now I know. Um, oh, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it. And on my Etsy, the only thing is like with, with Etsy, you can do a calculated shipping, but I do kind of a flat shipping. And 
So I have my international, I have it in my listing, you know, international buyers PM me for your address so I can calculate the shipping correctly for you. Um, but what I do is if they pay and the shipping is more than, you know, like $2 over, then I refund the difference. So, and that, but I haven't had a problem with that. And then on eBay, I do the, you know, you enter in the weight of your item and it just calculates it based on the distance of the place. So it's super easy. Maybe I need to walk, well, do a little walkthrough on that. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. And I'm looking, Veronica says, as a Canadian customer, I hate global shipping. Oh yeah. So expensive for you for outside the U S totally. Yeah. Ah, Carl says, I've been trying to learn uh, cutlery. I actually, I need to show, well, I would show you, but you know how I've been doing smalls for so long and so proud of myself that my room is not getting into like a hoarder's den? Scratch that, because um, I've got piles of stuff over here for haul videos I need to show you. And I just got a big cart full of stuff. Cutlery is part of what I picked up today. So it's just a matter of whether I give it to my sister or sell it. So, because it's uh, like silver plate stuff. Uh, so we'll see. We shall see. Alrighty, I appreciate you guys all coming. And uh, if you have any other questions, please leave me a comment. I am compiling questions to do uh, just like a video of frequent questions that are being asked uh, so I can just knock them all out in one, in one fell swoop. Okay, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something, learned one new thing. If you learned one new thing, leave me a comment, let me know what you learned, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.